Tonight, a local mother and father sharing their thoughts on their son, a world-class saxophonist who had struggled with anxiety and depression made worse since the pandemic hit. Monday would have been Eric's 20th birthday, but he lost his struggle with mental illness this summer. Now saxophonists from around the country are honoring the teen while bringing awareness to depression, especially among our young people. Here's Karen Drew with their story. The childhood pictures of Eric DeMonico are like so many other families. Birthday parties, playing outside, family, friends, and just being a kid. Eric grew up to be quite a musician, a world-class saxophonist, on a full scholarship at West Virginia University. Uh, you know, he brought so much love to everybody. For years, Eric had dealt with depression, anxiety, but things were made worse back in March. Eric struggled and he was open about it with his friends and such, and we did our best to help him, but with the pandemic, it obviously pushed that to a further extent. His way of coping was through music, but that changed too once COVID hit. Being a musician, we also don't have that self-expression anymore. We can't go out and play with our friends and uh, our ensembles. Band and orchestra and music uh, very often help people get through their most difficult times. Eric lost his fight with mental illness this summer. He would have been 20 years old this past Monday. I, you know, I think that if Eric had lived, he, he would have become a superstar someday as a, as a musician. And that's where this virtual tribute comes in. To honor Eric's memory, 40 saxophonists from all around the world came together to perform with Eric. You see, composers structured the composition around an existing recording of Eric, so in essence, they are performing with him one final time. Very emotional. Yeah. I was with my daughter and my sister-in-law and we we all cried together. Eric's parents are hoping their son's story will enlighten others. We need to work as a community, government, education leaders, and make that the number one education in schools today. Play with Eric performances will happen again as his friends want to honor him and share his story. Well, organizers invite anyone who is a saxophonist to join Play With Eric as they try to build toward a follow-up video with 1,000 saxophonists.